thanks for coming to watch my video. I'm going to show you how to turn this fish into two fillets and nice cod cheeks just like that. Now you've got your cod, first things first, you want a nice sharp knife, I use a five and a half inch curved knife. Now you just want to grab the fin and cut round where I'm showing you, from the top of the head down to the belly. After that you want to grab them by the eyes and turn them over. And then just follow my finger and cut down the back in a nice straight line and one smooth motion. Now you're going to want to take your time and care opening this up. Nice and smooth, nice and easy, just to the spine. Little raised bone in the centre of the fillet. Looking good. After that you've got to put your knife down at the tail, over the spine, raise it up and push it all the way up the fillet until you hit the bones. You can't miss it, you'll feel it. And once you've done that, once you hit the, hit the ribs, you're going to want to put your knife flat and through. Flat and through at a downward angle and send it down and that way you'll free the fillet, free the tail. Up next, got the part that I struggle with the most when I was learning this but absolutely fine now. It's just about holding your knife at a slightly diagonal angle up towards the cod head and you want to snap all the bones from the ribs that go into the fillet. You want to use about that much of the knife, not much. And I've left audio for this so just so you can hear it. Love that sound. Now up next is just shaving down the, the rib cage and freeing the fillet from the body. And you'll see that now I'm about to show you the underneath fin. You just want to slice above that and it makes it much easier just to take the fillet off. Just go all the way down. Job done. Now it's on to the other side. So you want to flip them over. And then same again, use that fin as a guide and you want to go from the head to the belly. That's where I'm showing you here. Nice wee tip to turn the knife around for this last part. When you're going to the belly and taking it off like that. Now this time you're going to start the tail side to fill it. In. Just want to go in at a slightly downward angle just to reach your spine again, centre of the fish and just take it up nice and smooth. I didn't get it so smooth there this time, but in a perfect world it would be. And then you just want to take some time freeing that, opening it up just like last time. And once you're open, I put the knife over the spine again and run it down at a high angle, freeze all the meat. And then ribs again, freeing it, making sure you've got loads of room. through and down. Now you want to make sure the belly is folded out when you go and break the rib cage. Something I should have said on the other side but it's applicable to both. Just makes it easier. Up like last time and then shaving down the rib cage should come off nice and smooth. And that's your cod filleted, just needing to trim it up. But this should show you bones are almost see through and that's what you want. You want all the meat off the fish. You're going to want to snap the head off as well if you're interested in cod cheeks, I'll show you that at the end of the video. But you just snap off just like that. So trimming your fish, you've just got a couple of fins left on the right, the right fillet here. So you just got to like, get your knife, one smooth cut. Top to bottom, all the way down. And off easy as that. Next side, same again, just one fin this time. Remove that, it'll be looking looking amazing. There we are, still it's perfect. Up next is your bone removal, so you're going to need a pair of fish pliers, and if you feel your finger down there, you'll be able to feel all the bones down there, and easy enough, just pick them out one by one, take your time, try not to get too much meat on the bones, and just slowly just pick them off, one by one. I've just going to speed forward through this bit. There we are, all pin bones removed. Same again on the other side. 
run your finger down, you'll feel them all, and then just take care of them. That right there is the perfect example of a perfect pin bone. If you can get all like that, perfect. And that's you after that, that's your cod filleted. Just got to show you how to take the skin off in case you're unaware. You're going to need your fish pinners and you're going to need a sharp knife. Fish pinners and then get your sharp knife and just shave all the way up the fillet. I'm just as close to the skin as possible without going through. Once you reach halfway point, if it's a bigger fish, it starts to become difficult. So you want to drop the pinners, grab it with your hands, grab the skin, and then just finish off shaving all the way up top. Beautiful. And that's that. It's your skinless fillet ready to go for whatever you fancy. Got to show you how to take the cod cheeks out. And um, you want to get the head. You want to grab your fish pinners, and you want to grab the like top corner behind the eye. Just where I'm marking there, you want to grab around there, and then just shave down. I'll expose the cheek meat, but you can actually expose more meat if you lift up the eye cavity here. Put your finger underneath, it comes away pretty easy. And then you can see the, the meat leading up to the nose. Or some extra. You get your sharp knife, you've got to make two small cuts. One above, one below. And then just follow the curvature of the cheek round and scoop it out. When you're doing this in person, it's much easier to um, feel out and realize nice one that's one cheek on the other side now same again fish pinners in the corner had a wee bit of a moment here kept losing my grip but got there in the end same again just shave And then just make sure you expose that extra meat using the eye cavity again. And just same again, two small cuts and then scoop around the curvature of the cheek. Comes off no problem. And that's you. I hope this video is very useful. Two nice cod fillets and two cheeks ready for cooking. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.